This GPU shortage has been going on for so long now that Nvidia's next generation graphics cards are already on the horizon. All that while most people still haven't even had the chance to buy a current generation card. Which of course means that a lot of people are stuck with either older graphics cards or maybe even no graphics card and relying on integrated graphics. But thankfully for them, integrated graphics on CPUs have gotten really good. And seeing how popular the CPU the 12600K is becoming due to its insane value for the performance you get, it's a perfect time to investigate exactly what kind of performance you can expect from it if you are forced to run on integrated graphics. But right at the bat, one of the things we have to get straight, if you are planning on running any 12 gen CPU, especially if you're running on integrated graphics, you have, have to run on Windows 11. That's because the updated scheduler in Windows 11 is designed to take full advantage of Intel's new performance scores and efficiency scores that are found in the brand new order like 12 gen CPUs. In fact, here's exactly how much performance you could be sacrificing if you aren't on Windows 11 running in the order like. This is a 12600K running a game with its integrated GPU and clearly the difference is pretty big. So you definitely, definitely want to go for Windows 11. But with that out of the way, now let's see exactly how well this chip does compared to proper dedicated graphics cards. And for this I'll be using a range of GPUs people could be stuck with given the current shortages from all across the past 10 years. Representing the more modern side of GPUs, we have the GTX 1080 Ti, which launched in 2017. Then for a slightly older card, we have the GTX 970, which launched in 2014. And to round it off, a Radeon R928 X, which launched in 2013. And we'll be seeing exactly how well these cards and the integrated GPU perform in both Rainbow Six Siege for a more esports title and Shadow of Tomb Raider for a more graphically demanding title. The graphics cards will be running with the 12600K as a CPU, and all the tests here are going to be using 16 gigs of DDR4 3200MHz memory. Anyway, let's start with Rainbow Six Siege. Even though the integrated GPU does deliver decent gaming performance, even on the lowest settings, it is no match for a discrete graphics card. Yes, integrated graphics may have gotten better, but clearly not good enough. Now you could technically crank some settings even lower, for example by getting rid of anti-aliasing completely, but even then it definitely won't make it a great experience, especially in an FPS where, well, FPS is kind of important. Though if you are going to do it, then try to run in Vulkan mode rather than Direct X mode, because that should in theory work better with this kind of slower hardware. And in fact, I did a whole video about Direct X versus Vulkan in Rainbow Six, so I recommend you check it out, it's going to be up in the icons. Now on to Shadow the Tomb Raider, and here you want to run this game in Direct X 11 mode rather than 12. In 12, not only did I get worse performance on the integrated GPU, but there are also some uh, graphical glitches. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here as well. And once again, the integrated GPU on 12600K gets absolutely destroyed here, even on the lowest preset there is. The game still looked fine and it was still playable but not a great experience. But seeing how this kind of game doesn't rely as much on having a smooth high FPS compared to a shooter, especially a competitive shooter, then it wouldn't be as much of a problem. And one thing I know already that people are going to yell at me about is that I'm running these games at 1080p when these kind of integrated GPUs are most suited for something like 720p. And yes, you are going to be getting a lot more performance with 720p. But the issue is that we have long since moved away from the resolution. Barely anyone makes 720p displays anymore and scaling down to 720p on any high resolution display is going to look horrible and it's going to come with its own disadvantages. So if you are running on a 720p display then sure run at 720p but if you're running say a 1080p or 1440p monitor or maybe even a 4k monitor and you're downscaling down to 720p then that 720p is going to look even worse than on a native 720p monitor and that is going to influence your gameplay. For example in a competitive shooter at such a low resolution, you may have a hard time deciphering if those pixels in a distance are just some scenery or a person or whoop, too late, you're already dead because you didn't realize that a group of pixels over there was a guy. So unless you have to go down to 720p to get any kind of playable frame rate, I would stick to 1080p. But frankly, AMD's FSR technology is a thing that even works on integrated GPUs. Basically, AMD FSR is similar to Nvidia's DLSS technology. Basically, the game renders at a low resolution and then it uses AI to upscale it. So clearly, integrated GPUs are not the answer to the graphics card shortage we have, but hey, it could be worse. 
And if you want to pick up the 12600K yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon associate links down in the video description below. And if you're struggling to figure out what board you need, then I have a whole series of videos comparing different Z690 motherboards, so you definitely want to check that out as well. And also if you want to help support the channel, we also have a merch store with some great awesome designs, including a graphics card design if you want to feel like you actually have graphics card. Plus we also have a Patreon, and even just one singular dollar a month goes a long way in helping in this channel, and allows you to make way better videos on videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, and Coming Age Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us at this or whatever else really, plus and there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever big next. Goodbye everyone, good, bye. Thank you.